dragon roost with the choir, with the flute, Breath of the Wild-esque, with the extra instruments, as a throwback to the Fire Goma Mulgra thing that you fight in Wind Waker, but now it's a flying ice version and it's playing the full orchestral theme. I cannot express how good this boss theme is. Rito Village in the Tabantha Frontier. Okay. Finally making my way over here. I gotta start with doing this shrine though, the Gattachis Shrine. All right, how many, uh, how many of these have I done already? Let's see. I forgot what my shrine count is currently. It says that I am at, give me a second, let it pop up on screen. It says I am currently at 68 shrines complete. Obviously I have my complete stamina meter, which is fantastic. All three little circles are done. And so I guess everything else from here on out is gonna give me hearts, so. Okay, ride the winds. Seems like it'll be a fun one. Woohoo! <laughs> Go on through all the different lasers. All right, we got another one down there. Let's see. Whoop! A little more. There we go. Now, should I? I don't know. Should I hit this? Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, okay. <laughs> Scroll over a little bit. Anything over here? We're gonna see. Okay, this shot me all the way up. Oh, that was it? That was the entire shrine? Okay, great. Give me a blessing of light, please. That was incredibly easy. I already spent 40 hours diving through the sky and using my paraglider that this time it wasn't a problem at all. All right, give me my blessing and I'll be on with the uh, with the wind temple or whatever the Rito village is going to throw at me. Shout out, by the way, to all you who are watching live right now on Twitch. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks for coming through to the stream. It's funny, sometimes I like to skip the cutscene where you get the blessing, but other times I just like to let it play because it's so pretty. All right, here we go. Give me my little blessing, we'll move on. I also really gotta change my armor. I feel like I've had that same black Zora armor set with the hood and with those pants for like 20 something hours now. And I got a really cool robe. I got like the mystic robe a couple days ago. I got that tunic of the wind but I still gotta explore more. There's so much to do in this game. It's difficult to try to figure out like what exactly you want to do. All right, let's get out of here. Go to the Rito village and see what's going up. Excuse me. Okay, here we go. Vivian said, Roger, looking handsome as always, though tone it down a bit. Love the mug, welcome, welcome. Yes, I do have my Zelda mug over here right now. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, there's like a clothing place over here. Interesting. I'm assuming it's on a higher level. Climb back up here. Whoop. All right, here we go. Let's see what this is gonna give me. Snow quill tunic, snow quill trousers, snow quill hydra. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Was the Rito Village theme always this little creepy sounding winter version of the Dragon Roost Island theme? I do not remember that from the original Breath of the Wild. This is really, really cool. Wow. What a cool little Easter egg to throw in right at the very beginning. Okay, um, here, I'm gonna buy this tunic. Here we go. I certainly don't want to freeze. I'm buying that. Then I'll buy the snow quill headdress. Do I have enough for it? 650? I'll just sell Keel some stuff. Here you go. What do I have to sell? Oh wow, yeah, I love that remix. Okay, sort. Attack power, 500. Honestly, I'll just sell the diamond. 
I'm sure I'll get another one. Because how much? The trousers are... What? Trousers are a thousand. The headdress is 650. I'm gonna buy the headdress. A thousand's a lot, though. Let's see what else I got. Um... It's gonna give me a lot of rupees. Honestly, I don't really need, like, the rubies or the opal right now. One of these. Two of these. Boost this up. Two of the topaz. Uh, six of the opal. Six of the luminous stone. And that should be plenty. Okay. Great. I'm ready. Snow quill trousers. Like I said, we needed to change up our garb anyway, so boom, boom. All right. Now let's see, where is this going to lead me? I'm assuming I have to go all the way to the top over here? Yeah, I like the wintery version of the, the Rito Village. Really pretty. <laughs> the wintery version? <laughs> the wintery version, excuse me. <laughs> butcher better be at the Bay by 10. Do my vocal exercises. All right, here we go. Anything else up here? No. All right. That's not fair at all. You know I can handle it. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. <sighs> if we don't do anything, the village. Is that you? Is that you? <laughs> He's grown up. Tapa's kid grew up. <laughs> it is you. Link. Hello, Tulin, the young Rito warrior. Hello. That was a cute little introduction for him. Mm. They told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. What's up, Tapa? The new Rito Elder. It's very nice to see you again. Huh. Do you remember Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Uh. Well, maybe if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. <laughs> as long as you still think you could take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. <laughs> what, you think I can't? I'm already full-fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. You can all keep wasting your time treating the Song of the Stormwind arc like it's real, but not me. Song of the Stormwind arc. So I'm assuming this area is going to be the giant Norse boat thing that we saw in the final trailer before the game came out. Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to go um, find what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing no. He mentioned a song. An old folk song here in the Rito village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through the generations. I cannot get over the remix of Dragon Roost Island from Wind Waker. That is so great. Hmm. It's a song for children, mind you. A few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, every now and then, you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by the upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. Yeah, I'm just, I'm digging the vibe of the town. Even if the song of the Stormwind Ark is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent that no Rito can fly close enough to look. This is why I say we need to be careful to find the truth. But Tulin, he thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Huh. But these are Rito matters. You came for a purpose, yes? I came to help you guys! Uh. Terrible news. So, not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomenon around the world are related somehow, mm. we Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search, but this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping, and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. Mm. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder, mm. and I wish there was something I could do. Huh. But maybe I'm not the one you want. Try asking Hearth. Okay. 
You see the two bonfires? It's easy enough to find. Hmm. He's in the lodge near there if you want to try visiting him. All right, you got it, Teba. Woohoo! Tulin of the Rito village. <laughs> Tulin's cute. Son of the Rito uh, elder Teba. When Link first visited his village, Tulin was still a child growing up in his father's shadow, and his eyes would light up when he watched Link and Teba practice at the flight range. How cute. All right, let's make our way over here then. Here we go. Climb on up. Okay. There's one of the bonfires. Here we go. Okay. Okay, let's see this. Because they said he's in the lodge over here, right? It's also just funny to be running around with Sidon. Because wasn't the whole thing in Wind Waker that the Rito were actually the Zora who evolved over the years? So it's bizarre that the Rito and the Zora are both here. Ooh, what's this? The Trailhead Lounge. What is this stuff? That's a good question. Can I just take all of it? I'm going to. We found strange things at the foot of the mountain. Alright, well I'm going to take them. Thank you very much. Works as a landmark. Alright, let's go inside. A little pinch of this. We got some spicy peppers. Alright. Oh. Hearth. <laughs> he straight up looks like Falco, doesn't he? Uh, I was worried <laughs> after I heard that you'd gone missing. What happened? Uh. Looking for Zelda? Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. Uh. Our feathers are full, dealing with the more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or investigate the cause of the blizzard. Mm. And all that's been tampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. Uh, we're to spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. So I'm sorry, but I wish I could do more oh. for you. Though, now that I think of it, maybe Tulin can help. <laughs> Tulin was ready to help in the first place, so... You went around for it, but little Tulin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kind of useful info. Oh. His wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Like Ravali's Gale, essentially? Even Stern Teba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is a cut above the rest. Mm. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but it's worth asking him at least. He was with Gassan and Liesa on a trip to find food. Okay. I think they were on their way to the Hebra South Summit Cave, northeast of here. Uh, the cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. You got it! Sounds easy enough. Ah. I'm going to grab some extra wood while I'm here, too. Sorry to take all your supplies, buddy, but I never know if I'm going to need them. All right. Make my way back up here. All right. And then he said... Okay. Yeah, let's keep going. Northwest of here. So obviously this is pointing me in the right direction then. I'll just keep taking this. Thankfully I've got my stamina. I've got my warm clothes on. I probably won't freeze my wings off. And we're looking for a cave with a bonfire. Oh, that was incredibly easy to find. Great. Got some other little branches and stuff over here too. Unbelievable. These huge things are raining down on us. What's happening up there in the skies? Hmm? Oh, I hadn't expected to meet a Hylian here. What are you doing in the mountains in this weather? Don't you see how cold it's gotten? Our feathers keep the worst out of it, but I'm not sure how you could stand the blizzard. Well, I've got your feathers on my clothes. Ah. Farther up the slope, you'll see Hebra South Summit Cave. My friends are there now, gathering provisions. Glowing mushrooms and fish to be had, which will come in handy. They keep a bonfire stoked at the cave entrance to mark their location. Find that bonfire and warm yourself up in the cave. You got it. I am curious, though, what's over here with all these branches, because I don't think I've been in this area yet. But I, I do want to go in the cave, so... We're going to find them first, and then we can come back here and explore. Let's see... 
Build up my stamina a little more. Bam! Bam! Okay, get some of these ice keys. Oh, there's some choo-choos over here too. Shoot them all, there we go, very nice. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Shake out of it. Alright, get some of these. Bam, 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 come on. Take this guy out. A little more, a little more, a little more. Alright. Whoops. Here we go, Bacoblin Guts. Black Bacoblin Horn. Alright, that's good. We've got a bonfire over there. Feathered Edge. Swinging it produces a strong wind. Okay, interesting. Oh, this gnarled long stick. I didn't even realize I could have put something on it. I was wondering why I wasn't doing that much damage. Let's go to materials. Put this. Let me actually drop. Let me see this. Higher attack power than a normal stick. Okay. I don't really want to get rid of anything else yet. I guess my other sword's about to break, so. Hold on, let me get some food as well. I'll equip this. Bam! There we go. Got the Reaper, got some ice fruits, pick up the Feathered Edge, and then if I still have like a good wing item, which I do, I have this Gleok wing, I think I'm going to drop this and fuse it with the Feathered Edge. Perfect! Alright, 30 damage, let's make our way back up again. Okay. Let me see. See if there's a cave or something. Okay, we got the bonfire. Very good. This should be it. Alright. Discovery. Hebra South Summit Cave. Light this stuff on fire. Get on through there. Let's see how quickly this spreads. Shoot that one over here, shoot this one over here. Light it all up. What kind of fish are in here? Chillfin trout. Temporarily boosts your heat resistance. Okay, that's good to know. Get these out of here too. Okay, got a couple brambles and things I want to avoid. Okay. Oh, 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 hold on. Wait. There we go. More of these chillfin trouts. Anything else down here? Oh yeah, quite a bit of stuff. I'm glad I looked. Get some lizards. Some flint and some amber. Some more of these chill shrooms. I was half expecting one of those bubble frog things, but... I'm not seeing one. Okay. Just make our way back up now, then. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And whoop, there we go. For a second there, I was like, man, if you get stuck down there and you don't have a lot of stamina, how do you get out? And then I'm like, oh, duh, you can ascend. <laughs> Just, I always forget that I have that now. Any other little thing I can explore over here, or do I go straight? I think I go straight. Some bright bloom seeds. Oh, those horriblins. I gotta eat something. Uh, I'll just eat some ribs, some herbs. 
some mushrooms. There we go. Alright, get this guy out of here. Boom, boom, boom. Goodbye. Let's knock him on down. Anything else over here? No. Alright, light this on fire. Fire fruit, there we go. Boom. And then actually... Maybe this? Or what's up here? Well, I guess that bonfire is just there for people who don't have the uh, specialty gear. Like I just bought. Let me dash ahead. Get my cave fish. And then... I came through here, right? Yeah, I did. There's the horrible end. So I'm assuming I have to go back up again then. Maybe make my way over. Okay. Oh, I thought that was an extra little rock sticking out. A little higher up. Some more of these. Okay, perfect. Made on through. There's one of those little bubble frog things I was talking about. Whoops. Got him. <laughs> All right. And the stuff that that guy gives you for trading in the bubble frogs is actually pretty good. Because that's how I got that mystic robe I was talking about earlier. All right. Right cap. Make my way down. Oh, no, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me go back up again. Five, six, seven. Okay, get one of these. Make my way up. Well, baby, tell us. Not doing much. We get out of there. Get a bomb flower. All right, Tulin's obviously still in there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, unless I did a loop. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't the same person when I came in, right? Hmm? Left all the food that we left behind. Where did Tulin go off to? Hmm. They flew outside the cave. Okay. I'm going to follow them back to the nest, and he flew off alone before I could protest. If you leave the cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Talanto Peak, which is where we saw the monsters. Okay. He thinks he's unbeatable, but he should really stop taking these chances. All right. Real quick, I want to run down here, though. Because I almost exited this way. Oh. Oh, no, you know what? No, I think this is where I came from. I got turned around. That's the bomb flower. Well, I guess this, this is the only way out then. Oh, okay. Great. Bright cap. And I'm looking for a lone cedar tree. On Talanto Peak. Okay, moving on up. Toronto Peak. Oh, yeah, I see. How nice of them to mark it on the map for me. Got another one of those guys. I gotta help him with his sign. That's A-OK. -okay. I will do that later and mark it later. Okay. Now, Lone Cedar Tree. Oh, here's the monsters. And take them all out. <laughs> that sword is so weird with the wing that also does the wind gust. Because it's like, I keep pushing them away instead of doing damage. Alright, here we go. Lone cedar tree. Okay. 
Okay. Tune's got to be here somewhere. Let me see. I'll keep looking up. Got a bunch of trees over here. Oh, I see. At the peak. That also makes sense, because this looks like a temple area or something, so... Wouldn't be surprised if he was over here. Uh-oh. Change this up. Come here, buddy. Whoops, 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 whoops. Knock them all out. There we go, there's one. A little more. Side on, help me out, buddy, come on. Perfect, perfect. Okay, got some boss fangs. Some other little goodies. Some horns and some ice fruit. Yeah, this definitely looks like the piece of a temple or something. Let's see. Got some ice over here. I should probably unfreeze this guy. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Insta-kill with the fire. Melt the ice. A little more. I feel like there's something good in there. A little more. A little more. Come on. Come on. Thaw already. Oh, it's just a macabre. <laughs> no, I'm going to leave you there, I think. Yeah, I'm going to leave you there. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything else. All right, let's keep going up. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a treasure chest or like a Zora or a Rito or somebody I needed to save. But no, wasn't the case. Alright, here he is. What's up, little buddy? I should have kept my guard up, stupid monster. Link, where'd you come from? Uh, you see, that rotten monster took my good bow. That monster? We got him, don't worry about it. Whatever are we going to do, Tulin? I'm literally just going to stand right here, put a keys eye, shoot, and we're good. Did you know I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you. That way you can glide over to where the monster went. Uh -huh. Just tell me where to point the gust and I'll make it for you. The power of wind. When the aura is charged, you can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. Okay. Well, I guess that way. But I, I really don't need to even do that. I could just do this. Where's my, uh, my key eyeball? I have so many different things I'm scrolling through, it's like I don't even know where they could possibly be. Here we go. Woohoo! Oh, wait, what? Oh, I guess you have to do that then. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Follow this guy over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Tulin, I screwed up. Tulin, what am I gonna do? I shouldn't have gotten cocky. Alright, let me just climb up the hard way. And then I'll ask for your gust of wind. I'm assuming that's probably going to be the power that I then get after the temple. Which will be super duper useful. Alright, here we go, up here. Oh yeah, there we go. This will be fine. Zonai sword. Um, good for now, I think. Don't need that. There we go! Easy. Got your sword back, buddy? Not a sword, I guess your bow, but still. I owe you a big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have gotten lost for good. Bring it on some more. 
We'll take them out too. All right, they're not gonna make a fool out of me twice. Let's get them together. You got it. Boom, boom. Easy. I'll even take one of these claymores. Boom, boom. Oh, it's chucking at your face. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, here, let's do this too. Bam, there we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> We did it! Look, I think this uh, this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Oh? Was that the wind? It couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. Oh, Tulin, Link. Huh? Hmm. Here comes Teba. Oh no, that's our new Falco buddy, Hearth. Oh. Impressive teamwork, you two. You saw that, Hearth? Talk about embarrassing. I didn't listen when Gassan tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it, but I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. I thought I was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Mm. I bet now you see why we were treating you like a small little chick. Yeah. <gasps> you were right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. Is that all there is to the story? Seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Uh, funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. See, I spotted her getting attacked by a monster, and it was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. But I guess she was fine, because then she zoomed up above that cloud. She flew above the cloud? How could that be? Seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom of it sitting around here. Oh. Tulin, Link came out here looking for Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud you say the princess soared into. <laughs> but I thought I wasn't allowed. Uh. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. So maybe it's not going to be a wind temple. Maybe it's going to be an ice temple. I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way in is through the top. But there's not a Rito alive capable of crossing this stormy sky and making it all the way there. Except for one. Uh. I'm talking about you, Tulin. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. Tulin will be the finest Rito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Uh. You know who said that to me? You're all mad. Teba. Huh. Dad said that? Oh. Yep and I'll make sure he knows you accomplished it here today. Now it's time with to you... Why am I tripping over my words? Now it's time you go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing this blizzard. No problem. The two of us together have got this. I saw Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak, so let's check there first. We're counting on ya! Alright, so... I'm assuming we could just ascend up there then. That's kind of interesting compared to uh, how we had to get the Zora armor to then like waterfall our way up to the water temple. This is kind of cool. All right, well off to the peak we go. Tulin's just really cute, I'm a fan. All right, here we go. A little more snow. A little more of this as well. It still feels so wild that I'm like 40, 50 hours in, and I've only done one dungeon. This is only my second one. All right, let's climb this way. I, I could go up a bunch of different ways, but I feel like this is probably the best one. I also hear a Korok. Uh, where's Tulin? Oh, <laughs> running around like that. Uh, let, let me see. Tulin, Tulin, get, come here. Aim here. And give me a gust, please. There we go. Woohoo! Alright, make my way up here. 
I like the look of this area a lot. Get these guys out of here. The whip broke. That is okay. I will reattach this one. And we're going up the hill and the mountain. Good thing I have lots of stamina right now. All right. Uh, put this down over here. Yeah, I love the design of this area. Really cool. Two, three, four. Trying to make our way to the peak. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to have to ascend up there to get up there, but... Uh, I have more key side balls. There's one. And here's an Aracuda one. Knock that guy out of here. Perfect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There goes the second one. There we go. Perfect. It definitely helps that I bought that, um, the really nice snow armor, too. I feel like if I didn't have that, I'd probably constantly be freezing and I would need to go stop at bonfires. But I feel like, I think I was better off doing the Zora Temple first. I'm happy that I did that. Okay. Tulin, I need you. Come here. Let's go. And gust. Woohoo! Let's go. All right, Tulin, come here again. Come on, buddy. Charge it up a bit. Let's go. And let's go that way. Woo! All right, a little more. Uh-oh. Oh, here, I'll go around, and then I can just descend my way up. Here we go, let go. Oh, is it not letting me? Wait, what? There we go, okay. All the way up! Uh, let's see how much higher can I go. I climb up here, all the way to the top. And then... Okay, two Lin, let's go. Gust! Alright, that should work. No, 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 no! Oh, I just missed it. I just missed it. Hmm. I should have done it closer to the edge then, I think. A little higher. Here we go. Okay, whoops. Whoa. Okay, a little more. All right, last one. Come here. Leave it to me. No, 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 no! That's not what I wanted. No. I keep thinking I could just jump off. Oh, and the blood moon's coming. That's not good either. Actually, you know what? Do I have a Zonai device? Oh, I don't. I was thinking I have a fan. I'm like, I could just make this way easier. I could jump in the fan and go all the way up, and I won't even need to worry about that gust. But, all right, Tulin, come on. Gust, please. There we go. There we go. That'll do it. Wait, what? Why do I keep missing this? That seems... Wild. I, I'm off by like one little pixel. At least that's how it feels. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't see the platform below it. I could just ascend up there. Here we go. I was literally trying to grab out of the pole. Because I thought this was actually the bottom of the other area we were on. But I could just ascend right up. Alright, here we go. Beautiful. Keep on swimming through the rock. We are out of there. There's also a shrine. You love to see that. All right. The island chain. Island chain. Do do do. 
Oh yeah, this is cool. Very God of War Ragnarok-esque looking area. I like it. It was around here that I saw Zelda, but now I don't know where she could have gone. Hmm? What is that? Well, it looks like a boat. Do 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 do. <laughs> it is. Hi! It's like Wind Waker again. <laughs> Look at that. It's a boat. Hmm. Come. Come. I'm on my way. To me. Whose voice was that? Was it coming from somewhere up there? <gasps> Do you see that thing inside the cloud? Is that another boat? It's huge. But there's tons of little boats flying too. You know what it reminds me of? A line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. This whole thing is just like the song of the Stormwind Ark. Oh. Was that children's song true after all? I mean, you heard the strange voice too, right, Link? I'm sure I heard it say, come to me. Hmm. It's like it was calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that would lead us to Princess Zelda, though, so maybe she went over to that ship? <laughs> well, nowhere to go but up. Come on. All right, let's go. I do want to do the shrine while I'm here, though, too. Let's see. Because can I jump? Oh, nice! Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, first thing I'm grabbing this. Here we go. Blood Moon's coming. Oh, have I already done this one? Oh, okay, downward force. How did I get up here before? I've definitely not done this area yet, so that just seems really weird. How did I end up doing a shrine in an area I couldn't access yet because I didn't have his wind? That doesn't make any sense to me. How did I do that one? Unless maybe it was like before the storm happened or something? I uh, I don't know. All right, let's keep going. We're trying to get higher up, right? So yeah, we gotta go that way, okay. Let's go. Here we go. And then I'm gonna have Tulin, come here. And Gust. Woo! And now I can go to the Zonai area over there, or I can go this way, which I think is probably a better bet. Because then I can just go around it and not fight the Zonai guy. Here we go. And then that'll lead me to another one of these little bouncy boats. Oh, there's a Korok there. I gotta make note of that. Where is there, uh... Oh, there's another shrine down there, too. Oh, wait a minute. There's a lot of stuff. Alright, there's a shrine there I want to get to. But then also, right below here... Well, let's see. Hold on. How high is this going to knock me up? Here. Glide. And then I want to put a marker here, too. So I don't forget that Korok seed later. Because I don't want to jump all the way... Well, actually, you know what? I do have that uh, save point at the shrine. I could probably do this. Oh, oh, oh. Tulin, come here. I'm going to need your help, buddy. Go, 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 go. Come on, Tulin. Let's go. Go, 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 go! We got this! Come on, 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 come on! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, great! Very good! Get an extra Korok. 
I gotta start turning in some of those and get some more pockets. Alright, now unfortunately, I think the easiest way to get back up there is just gonna be to hop in the shrine. I'm just genuinely so confused how I have that one unlocked and completed already. What I must have done, I must have done something where I rocketed up the tower on a previous stream, floated down to this area, and just didn't go past the area where you need the little, like, wind gust things. Because otherwise that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Which one am I going this way? I forgot which way I came from. Uh. Oh yeah. Okay. There's that. So I'm good. Come on over here. Wind gust away. Yep. There's the zone I we went by before. Okay, Tulin. Here you go. All right. Gust. One more. Yeah, I love the vibe of this area. This is how you do a cool wintry themed area. You make it kind of Norse themed. You throw the Rito in there. All right, a little more, climb on up. Even all these hours into the game, I still get kind of nervous whenever I'm floating and jumping from island to island. All right, Tulin, come here, Tulin. I feel like I should dismiss Sidon. Because I think I'm accidentally like clicking A on that one. Hold on, can I do that? Dismiss. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Woohoo! Float all the way up. I could honestly just keep going considering all the stamina I have. Anything up here? No? Okay. Take this construct out. Woo! Beautiful. Keep running. Oops, oops, oops. Whoa, that did a lot. What the heck? I gotta make some more food. Man, I didn't expect that to do that much. I gotta go get some stuff to cook. Okay. Some of this. Zonai charges and arrows. Got plenty of mushrooms. I'm sure there's gonna be a place to cook sometime soon. Climb up here again. Let's see. And now this obviously I ascend up. Whoa! It's like the cold in the game is getting to me in real life. Alright. Can I not ascend up here? Okay. It really doesn't let me? It's kind of bizarre. But whatever. Again, that's fine. I have a lot of stamina at this point. I don't necessarily need to ascend. There we are. Man, to be fair though, how did people do this one first? I feel like there's a lot of climbing. You just, I guess, have to be very careful and you can't rely on um, your stamina wheel. Here we go. I'll take this guy out, too. Whoops. Didn't realize that one broke. A horrible in sledge. Knock this guy out of here. Perfect. Oh, whoa. I didn't even see there was a thing over here. Now, do I go that direction or do I keep climbing up I feel like that's the way that's gonna take us where we need to go also wait a minute there's something else over here see there's lots of little areas in this <laughs> in this place I want to explore here let's hit these break these off climb in and then I'm assuming I could just ascend to the very top right there we go perfect see I'm not forgetting ascent now Exit out of there. And that'll get me to where I need to go. Alright, Tulin. Here, buddy. Oh, 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 I clicked the wrong thing. That's alright. Okay, so we're at, we're getting close. We're getting close. Alright, come here again. 
Yeah, I like the little snow outfit. Come here. Let's go. Gust. Okay, a little further. Not seeing any treasure chests over there. I'm still keeping my eyes out for Koroks, though. Climb a little higher up. Whoops. Wait, what is that? Oh, a flame emitter? Honestly, that might be kind of useful for what we're about to do. Um, let me see. Just get a really basic weapon. Let me see. Do I not have one? Ice breath, topaz rod. I should have grabbed one of those other sticks on the other side. Because that is a flame emitter, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, you know what? No. I have I have a Zonai device chilling in the back. We go make our way on up got another little fire area over here oh wait a minute I'm assuming I have to ascend to the top whoops There we go. No! Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, that was scary. There we go. Send back up. All right. Exit. Oh, no, but I can't quite get up there yet. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I can. There we go. And then we're going to try the fire fruit again. One. Two. Oh, no, 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 Come on. Go back down again. I screwed up. All right. Perfect. Make our way down. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. It's interesting that this isn't part of the temple yet. This feels like it'd be part of otherwise, you know, one of the other floating sky dungeons that we did earlier. All right. Get some more arrows. Bum, bum, bum. Some chill shrooms. Nothing else of note in here. Let's ascend to the top then. I'm wondering if maybe I go in a different direction because I obviously have to get up there. Okay, let's scroll on down again. Let's just try going the other way. Alright, yeah, this seems like the right play to go up in this direction. Break this, hop on up, there we go. Some of these you just gotta take a leap of faith with though, because you're not necessarily sure if there's gonna be something underneath catching you. I would certainly not like to be Link in this scenario. All the way up. Woo! This would make such a great theme park ride at Nintendo World if you're just jumping down onto these little trampolines and they shoot you up into the sky. All right, one more. All the way up. I'm not seeing anything on the roof of the building. So let me go inside. Oh, perfect! Oh, I was looking for one of these. Great. Great, 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 great. Fire fruit. We can cook here. Because I was just saying earlier that I don't really have any food. All right, let's see what we got. Let's do... Palm fruit... And a golden apple. Give me some good health. Cook that. 
great. Plus 10. Incredible. Two of these with some splash fruit. Fruit and mushroom mix. We're gonna go with... Raise your defense in your cooking. Hmm... Sort by type. Here we go. Hardy truffle. Fold one of these. Throw some... Actually, you know what? No. Remove these. Hardy truffle. And some other mushrooms. Mushroom skewer. Chili mushroom skewer. Because really, I mean, like, I already have the, the resistance to the snow. So I'm not too concerned about that. I mostly just need things for health at this point. Mushroom. Okay. Maybe some crab. Have a seafood dish. Chillfin trouts. Seafood skewer. There you go. Roasted fish and shellfish. That sounds great. Here we go. And then let's do escargot with some salt. See what this is going to give me. Sneaky salt grilled fish. Okay. And two more of the mushrooms. Maybe some ice fruit. Increases attack power in cold temperatures. Yeah, let's obviously make a ton of these then. Because we could just keep eating these and do tons of damage for the next uh, next portion of the game. I'm assuming this whole dungeon is going to be icy and in the cold, so... Alright, here we go. A little more. And yeah, we're good. I think that's plenty of food for now. I'm feeling good. Okay. Scroll on over, jump on up. We're getting close. I'm avoiding these Aracudas, though. Scroll on down. A lot of Zonai in this area. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch out. Charges. Hit this. Get out of here. Come here. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Strong construct bow. Oh, because I have this 11 one. Yeah, let's drop that one and get this one instead. Whoops. And Tulin's putting in the work. Get some more of this stuff. Got a wooden stick and a sturdy wooden stick. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, careful! I did not like that at all! <laughs> Knock this guy out of here. Perfect. Take another one. Fuse some stuff to them. Okay. Where's Tulin? Tulin, buddy, where'd you go? Here you go. I need your little wind gusts. Alright, last little zone eye area. This one looks like it was a zonite spear, zonite spear. So let's drop this sturdy wooden stick. Let's grab the zonite spear instead. This one's attack up. I mean, that's still pretty good. I could find a use for that. Zonai charges. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy was doing tons of damage, man. Chili mushroom skewer. All right. I'm going to attach. That does 54. I don't want to waste that one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck? What is that weapon? Man! Jeez! Oh, I wish I didn't knock him off. 
I wanted whatever that was that he had. Okay. Now, while I'm here, let's just make some other throwaway weapons. Let's equip the Zonai Spear. Let's drop... Here, let's go by Fuse Attack Power. Drop this. Hold. Fuse. Fantastic. Equip the Sturdy Wooden Stick. Let's hold two of these. Drop them both. There's one. Fuse. Fuse with the other one. Lots of damage. And let's actually hold one of these too. Drop that. And attach this to the regular wooden stick. And now we are in business. 34. Great. Let's equip the 29 one. Make our way up. And then while we're here... Oh, that's what it was! Oh, they're like little Zonai bombs! Whoa, okay. What is, what is down here? See, now I know! Large Zonai charge, okay. Whoops. Send our way back up here. Gotta heal a little bit more. Mushroom skewer. We got a little hot air balloon. Easy enough. Ba da 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 da. Here we go. Two. Three. A little more. Come on. Other way. There we go. Attach that. Put this in here. One. And where's the other one? Here somewhere. Here we go. Two. Okay. Boom. And let's go. Take me up. High up in the sky. Da 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 Ascend. Whoops. And up we go. Easy enough. I feel like the lead up to the wind temple has been way quicker than the lead up to the water temple was. I feel like we were on the lead up to the water temple and it took us a couple hours. This, all right, here, jump it over here. Okay. They're changing their positions, all right. Whee! little more. One more that way. <laughs> I still get nervous every time I drop down. Alright, here we go. Let me see. Break through. All the way up. Oh, we got another shrine here too. Great. This is my first time flying this high. The air is pretty cold up here, huh? I'll be fine, but what about you, Link? Make sure you don't freeze, okay? Don't worry. That's why I bought the outfit. I'm good. All right, let's go this way. Kahanatun Shrine in the Hebra Mountain Sky. Okay. What's this one going to be? Ba -ba -da -da -da. Ba -ba -bum. Oh, okay. I'm just getting a blessing. I don't even have to do anything. Just arrive 
And they go, here you go. All right. I feel like, what's the catch here? This isn't something I had to do anything for. Normally, for the ones like, like this, where it's just a basic blessing shrine, you have to build the crystal first, or you have to track the crystal down. Okay. Light of Blessing. May the light of breast blah, blah, blah. May the light of blessing grant you the power you seek. I really don't know what's going on with my mouth today. I don't know. Pause. But I don't know. I don't understand. All right, here we go. Rising island chain in the Hebra Mountain sky. All right. So we're still going higher up. Okay. Up here. We should be able to make that no problem. I love how the music's getting spookier too as we're making our way through all these little arcs. Alright, higher up. I'm also wondering if at any point I could just jump down and fall back to the surface if I roll from here. I'm sure I probably can. Here we go. Fantastic. Okay, a little more. Make our way up. Rocket me up here. Get that classic Cass accordion coming into the background too. Speaking of, where is Cass? He was one of my favorite characters in Breath of the Wild. I haven't seen him anywhere in this game yet. And I'm like 50 hours in. Go, keep floating. Up, 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 up. Oh, can you gust? Oh, you can gust while you're paragliding. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know if I could do that or not. All right, this seems like a temple entrance coming up. The big staircase and everything. Oh yeah, okay. Something epic is about to go down. Here we go. Look how high up we are! Oh man! Here, let's float this way. Make our way up. Can I ascend to the top? I sure can. Fantastic. higher up okay and that'll take us on the inside oh I'm ready for this I just I, I love the scale of this whole area so okay so the temple is gonna be the boat itself oh this is cool the wind temple the legendary storm wind arc the temple is the boat! Awesome! Okay. I'm ready for this. Oh, what a cool design. Wow, so this is what was waiting for us in that huge cloud, huh? This is the Stormwind Ark from the kids' song. Huh? Zelda? At the very beginning? Doing her time travel shenanigans? What the? This proves it, Link. The blizzard that's been pounding Rito Village is coming from there. But didn't I see someone here a minute ago? I 
could swear they were just here. Wind Temple first floor. Okay, so what does this do? I'm assuming it's going to turn the fans on or something. Oh, it's just creating like a, a shortcut for me to teleport to? Okay. So maybe we have to power up the gears or something? Hmm. Looks like it's shut tight, but the source of the blizzard has got to be right under that hatch. I wonder if there's some way we can get it open. Huh. There's the sound again. Brave Fletchling. Is that Rivali? There are Sounds still like it. five locks securing the hatch on the deck. Use your power to release all five locks, and the hatch should open. You got it. Seems simple enough. And they marked it right on the map. Heed Lovely. My words. Oh, that's definitely Rafali talking. No doubt about it. It was calling out to me loud and clear. The source of the blizzard messing up the village has got to be under the hatch. If that voice was right, it'll open once we find a way to release all five. Okay. We're so close. Come on, Link. Let's go figure out how to open those locks. You got it. Break this guy real quick. Get some ice goodies. Now let's see. Where do I start? Let me look at the map. Because I know there's other cool stuff in this area. Oh. Boom. There we go. Knock this guy down. Aracuda wing. I guess there's nothing else really in there other than the area up on top. Take the Zonai guy out. Come here. Bam! Easy enough. Get another construct bow. I'll drop this one for the time being. Okay. So the first one, because I think I saw it when we first landed here. It's up on top over here, isn't it? At least it looked like it, because we're trying to get through there. Ooh, I love the flute that's kicking in, too. Beautiful. Oh, no. See, I'm thinking of the wrong area. Wait, what the heck? A giant cannon? That's weird. Okay. See, I thought there was an area right when I landed on the top of the temple where there were like two doorways that were down like this and I was going to pull them open. That is very interesting. Okay. Let's see. What's in here? Maybe I throw a bomb down the cannon or something? The little fire thing? There we go. I just realized too, I have that rod. I could just use the ruby rod. There we go. What's this gonna give me? Oh, 29 soldier spear. Okay. Uh... Well, let's drop the ice whip, because we certainly don't need that in this area. Okay, let's keep going. Let me see. See, this is the area that I was thinking of. And I'm assuming, yeah, there's definitely something on the other side. I was assuming I had to open these hatches. Ah, see? Yeah, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Take that guy out. Thank you, Tulin. Very useful. Open that up. Make my way down here. Okay. 
Wind Temple B1. All right, so obviously this is the thing we have to gust. He's going to push the wind in and it's going to turn the gears. This is actually very similar to how the Water Temple was set up too. Only difference is in the Water Temple you activated the stuff using Sidon's water to turn the water wheels. But this one... Here we go, let's turn the locks. Uh-oh. Wait, sorry, Tulin. I activated it too quick. Also, there's something down there I want to grab too. I'm assuming you probably have to use the gust to push through and go across so you don't actually float all the way up by then. Alright, let's go. Gust. Boom! There we go. First one activated. Simple and clean. Perfect! Okay. Hey, Link. This thing opened one of the locks. We gotta find the other four. You got it, Tulin. Before we do that, though... Oh no, I guess I could do it without his little gust. There we go. What's this gonna give me? Oh, ooh, okay. 29, a soldier blade. Man, they're giving me some pretty good weapons right near here. I'll drop the... Hammer. Oh, was this the other side of where I just was? Here, let's see. Ascend. Go all the way up. I think it is. Make our way down. Alright, so that's the first one. The second one is through this doorway. Okay. Interesting. Try this. Attach it and then crank it. Oh, that works! Great! <laughs> Easy enough! That was simple. Man, I'm getting good at this. Alright. Gust. Boom, that's two activated. We are we are schmoving. I was gonna say we are flying, but. I think I already said that, considering the fact they're Ritos. All right, couple more. Three more to go. Three more to go. Actually, while I'm here, because I bet you there's probably something on the other side, let's detach this and put it on here. Oops, oops, I do not want to break it. No, no, not what I wanted to do. Yeah, let's put this instead. Whoops, oh, it's not going to let me? Let's see, there's got to be something on this side. Attach my spear. Whoops. Boom, boom, boom. We got a flame emitter spear over here. See, maybe I drop this one then. Oh no, that only does eight. But I also feel like that's probably good for if we're in a, an ice area. Nah, I, you know... Yeah, I'll take this. Why not? Why not? Why not? Break this, see what happens. Open this up. I also do love that with all these temples, the music builds and builds and builds with each of the little things that you solve in them. I think that's such a nice touch. The first time I noticed that in the Water Temple, I thought that was cool. And I'm noticing it here. It's like the melody gets bigger and bigger the more you solve. Alright. New instruments are in there now, too. You've got the strings on top of the piano. Here we go. Bam! Yeah, and I love the fact this whole temple is actually the boat. <laughs> that is so cool. Bam! Bam! There we go. Um, I guess let's go here next. It says it's right here. Put my ruby rod back on. And reattach this. Oh, I guess I have the flame emitter too now. There we go, equip. 
Got some arrows. I wonder if maybe one of them is under the arc. Oh, it looks like it. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is. Oh, okay. See, I'm glad I looked. Lots of lasers all over the place, too. All right, fantastic. Let's go. Got some fire fruits, too. Put my ruby rod back on. A little of this. Oh, okay, that's not helping. Get some of this. Time bombs in a portable pot. Okay. Could be good. Tulin, come here. There we go. Push our way across. Get some more arrows. Okay, let's take this guy out while we can. Oh, good, and he's got a ruby in case we need to infuse it to make a fire weapon. Very good. Uh-oh, 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 careful. Dodge out of the way. Bam, 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 bam. Perfect, ruby rod. Second one. I definitely want that. I'll drop the topaz one because I don't need it right now. And in fact, I'll even drop one of these wings. No, I'm not. Oh, uh, I have too many weapons I want to use. The ruby rods are both good. The horrible hammer is good. I guess I'll get rid of this one. It's got high durability, but it takes both hands. So, all right, topaz rod. Wait, didn't I drop that? Here we go. Sort. Okay. Get some more of these. Very useful. Now, it doesn't seem like there's anything else over here. What's this going to open? Oh! Okay. Opening up a window. Oh, this reminds me a lot of the Van Mado area from Breath of the Wild. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you got the lasers. Make our way back up again. Let's see. See, but there was other stuff still in there that I want to do. Let me glide back down. Okay, so see, this was the area we didn't go by last time. Should be easy enough. Whoops. Nope. Can I just climb? There we go. <laughs> Whoa, no! Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no. Whoa! <laughs> I was trying to climb around him. All right, let's go. Come on, boost me. Thank you. That could have been very bad. All right, let's glide back over. Here we go. Up. Now that way seems blocked, but that's okay. I'll just go the other direction. All the way up. be on this side, right? Yeah. Okay. Climb back down and around. This is where we just were. Alright. Again, we're going down. Two, three, four, five, six, and down. Alright, what's this gonna give me? It's 
It's gotta be something good to avoid all those lasers. Oh, another ruby, great. Great, great, great. The more fire weapons, the better. One, two, three, four, five, six. Something's up there, two, seven, eight. Let me see. I like being able to climb around the rafters. Okay, glide on down. More arrows. Man, I've got to have, yeah, 105 arrows. Man, oh man. All right, now this right here. If I ascend, I don't know where this takes me. There's the air vent. One of them is on B2. Oh, you go through this way? Okay. Interesting. Grab this. I'm assuming I can't go through this way, or I have to open it a different way. But that's obviously where I need to go. Hmm. Let's try ascending and see where it takes me. It's not gonna let me? Oh no, it will. Oh, okay, it's just above the other gear. You know what? I think let's go behind here. Open this one up. Okay. Because this is the one with the cannon on top. This one is underneath. This one's in here, which could potentially enter from this side as well. And the last one's there. I feel like it's got to be something where you drop a bomb in the cannon or something. Or maybe... I don't know, maybe you go to a lower level? Hmm... Let me look. No, not the basement. Here, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the other side real quick. That is... Because that'll take me through here. So let's see if that side is open at all. And I, I don't have to go higher up, do I? Well, there's something up there. Maybe I do. Oh, okay. This is an ice area. Where's the fire fruits? Fire fruit, fire fruit, fire fruit. Where are you? Unless I use them all. Two. Another one. Three. Oh, no, 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 no! There we go. Zoom my way back up. Scroll down. Two. Nope, 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 that's not gonna work. Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no. A little more. Oh! Okay, a little more again. We'll ascend on up there. Yeah, that laser is scary. Alright. Up here, ascend. Exit. Oh, no! I thought I just made it, but I guess not. 
There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, we're in, we're in. Now, I have to go up the other way, I think. This way. Let me recall. Okay, take me back up. Stop that. Bam, 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 bam! Okay, and then now, let's open this, in case you need to come back in again, and obviously I need a gear or something to connect these. These are not like, uh, here, let's go up. A long stick or something. Oh, here we go, here we go. I can use that icicle. Also, man, there's all this stuff that I want to do, but... Oh, here we go. Knock these guys out. Here we go. Also, what is this? Oh, key swing. Okay. There we go. This will take us both up. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Whoops. Take this over here. Connect this. Hopefully it's long enough. Nope. I think it needs to be a little longer. That's okay. Attach this here. Make it a little longer. No, it still needs to be a little longer. Okay, that should work. No, now it's too long. Let's try this. There we go. Oh, nope, that's not quite working the way I intended it to. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. See, I want... Oh, hold on. Wait, I want this to be there, right, right there. Perfect. I want this to attach right here. There we go. Wait, it's still not letting me. Hmm. Maybe I don't even need to do that or attach them. Like, can I just do this? I also feel like I need another gear, though. Wait. See, and they're both attached. That's not. That's not good. Break that. Yeah, you need the power of both in order to turn it. Hmm. Maybe there's something up in the rafters? Oh, no, I know what I can do. There we go! I didn't have to take that other one all the way over here, I just do this! And then I could shrink it using the fire to make it the right size. Here we go. Now let's see. And then attach this one here. And that'll be the thing that turns. No, let me shoot another one. Another icicle. Okay. Hmm. 
may see. How do I make it smaller? I can't just attack it. I don't want to melt the thing. Fire fruits, chew jellies. See, the problem is I know that if I throw my ruby rod at it or something like that, or my flame emitter... this. Maybe this one's the right size? That one looks long enough. Here we go. Here, I'll fuse it to this one. No. See, I'm trying to get it right in the middle where it fuses to both and doesn't break off. I mean, unless I... Hmm. Unless I fuse it on this side. But it's just gonna break. Oh no! Oh no, that worked! Okay, that worked, cool. I was trying to get it right in the middle and get it to be just the right size so it could work as a winch, but... Alright, well... Okay, we got there regardless. Come here, buddy. Alright! <laughs> that one took me longer probably than it needed to. <laughs> All right, cool. Three of them. Two more. Now, one is on the lower level, and the entryway is on this side that we're already on. Got a bit of a choir in there now. Let me see. Because I, I, part of me feels like there's probably a place where you enter from the bottom. Let me see. Is there anything on the bottom? There is. I knew there would be something like this. Okay. How do I get up there is the thing. All right, so there's a crack. There's a crack on the very bottom that I could sneak into, because then I could push the gust across. Okay, I knew there was something on the bottom, though. Yeah, it's probably this one. Yep, 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 that's it. This is definitely it. This is definitely it. And then, once we get down there... Gust. There we go! There we go! There we go! There we go! Bam! I wanna... Hold on to the spear. Wait, let me change this again. Whoops. There we go! Perfect. We got another sword. Get another piece. While I've got the sword equipped, let's drop one of the really good materials. Hold that. Fuse. Boom. Oh, nope. Wrong thing. Wait. Zonai shield sword. Nope. Not what I wanted. Where was the other material? Here we go. Hold. Drop. Fuse. Alright. 27. Great. A little more gust. Strong winds! This is a fun wind temple. I'm really enjoying it. Wow! Okay, one last one. We only have one and it's obviously the little cannon area. Now the question is... See, it's right there. Is there a way I can ascend into that room or do I have to open it up? It looks like there's something there on the other side. Oh, oh wait a minute, there is. There is a way to ascend into this room. Okay. If there's a grate here, I can stamp here. Let's go inside from the other side. Okay. See, I knew there was something. Initially, I thought it would be something with the cannon, but I guess not. Okay. 
Here we go, up and at him. Drop down again. Woo and then that's the other side that I'm trying to get on. Okay, so let's go on over. Really, what a well-designed little temple, man. I'm digging it. Everything so far, all the temples have been great so far. No complaints. All right, here we go. Now. Great, we're here. Go across the walkway. Come here, little buddy. Here it goes. Here it goes. <laughs> woo -woo. Okay. I, I really love that it has the Van Mado theme in there, thrown in. Like, I feel like if you're somebody who didn't play Breath of the Wild or didn't play Wind Waker, you're not necessarily going to pick up on all the different musical cues that are there, but the motifs are real, and they're fantastic in this game. Very, very good. Okay, now, where am I looking to go? I'm looking to go up, right? Okay, so I think I have to ascend and then ascend. So one ascend. Because right now I'm still technically... Oh, wait a minute. There's something here. Hold on. Wait a minute. Get this. What's inside here? A Captain Reaper. Captain 2 Reaper. A Zonai Sword. Uh, resonates... Oh. Ooh. Uh, I'll get rid of the flame emitter. And then... Uh... I have too many good weapons. I really, I just legitimately have too many. Um... I guess I don't really need that flame emitter for much else, and I know that it's here if I need it. So let me go over here, break this. <laughs> Get some more arrows. Couple more. And then... Oh, I guess it's over on this side, right? Up here, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. What is this? Grab. See, I was thinking I just needed to ascend up into the thing. Oh. Oh, but the door... I see, I see, I see. Hold on. I see. Hold on. Whoops. I know what I gotta do. Attach this here. Get my little gust buddy. Come here, buddy. Leave it to me. And then we're gonna push it. There we go! And that's gonna open the door! Beautiful! Alright. Now that'll get me up there. And I'm assuming I could just climb up here from here. Yep. Bam, bam, bam! Great. Okay, last one. Let's go! Gust away! I am so ready for the boss. I'm sure it's gonna be something awesome. I have no doubt. If it's anything like the Muktarak from the Water Temple, I think we're in for a good time. That's it, Link. We've unlocked them all. Woo! You and me, buddy. Should we should be able to open the hatch on the main deck, deck now. Come, Come on, on, let's go. Okay. Tulin of the Rito Village. I'm gonna put this here just for the time being so the door can't close. Dum, bum, ba, bum. All right. Bring it on. All the gears are in place. Everything's locked. Let's activate the storm arc. Cutscene time. Come on. Here we go. Tulin, I would get away from the ledge if I were you. 
me we're fine here let's get down here I'm just curious do we have to get close to it how find a way to hurt it here can I throw a let me see I'm just gonna shoot it with the bomb and see what happens did that work no it's still going we aren't hurting it at all. shoot okay oh, 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 oh I know what to do I know what to do, I know what to do, I know what to do. Whoa, 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 careful, careful. When he opens that up, we have to slice through the middle. Okay. Come here. It's really, really big, but I'm sure we can do it. All right, I'm ready. Float on up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I see it, I see it. Don't worry about it. Bob flower. Boom, come on. There we go, that'll do it. Come on, there we go! Oh man, I feel like we're in the middle of a shadow of the Colossus boss right now. Alright, I'm floating back up. It's teleporting around all over the place. Oh my gosh, man! What the heck? Okay, so he's got weak points on his belly. Shoot it again. There was another one up there. Oh, no, hold on, I have to go a little higher. Let's see, keep going. Yo, this boss is awesome! Woo! <laughs> the theme from Dragon Roost with the choir, with the flute, Breath of the Wild-esque with the extra instruments as a throwback to the Fire Goma Mulgra thing that you fight in Wind Waker, but now it's a flying ice version and it's playing the full orchestral theme. I cannot express how good this boss theme is. Oh, that really, that gave me chills. If you have been a long time Zelda, oh, oh! Oh, oh, it's so good. Okay, I don't want to die though. Hold on, let's keep, let's keep going. I don't want this thing to kill me. Oh, careful, careful, careful. All the way down, let's go. Oh my gosh. Link, come on. Oh, I guess, hold on, I'm not going to do that. I'll do that. Another one. There we go. All right. Jump through the rings. We got this. He's only half dead, though. Oh. Wow. Just hearing the Dragon Roost Island theme as a battle theme with those instruments is unreal. Okay. Dude. I'm trying not to here. Gust me away. Come on. Gust me away. Gust me away. I see. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. A little higher. Come on. I see the crack in his armor. Come here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Oh, 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 come on. Here we go, here we go. This'll do it. There we go, there we go. Get him. 
Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, those little ice balls keep destroying me. All right. <laughs> Doing it above the boat. Like, we're literally above the entire wind temple. This is incredible. Like, the boss of the water temple, the boss of the water temple, when you fight Muktarak, it's just in the main section of the temple, like where the little faucets were. But this is the entire temple. Oh my gosh! Bro. <laughs> I was talking too much and admiring the music and I died midway through. All right, I gotta focus. I gotta take him out. It's, it was too good though, I'm sorry. I had the fanboy out. I'm sorry, it's the Zelda fanboy in me. Hearing those themes from my childhood orchestrated, it's so good. Okay, up again. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. This game just continues to impress me. It really is incredible. How they managed to top Breath of the Wild is insane to me. A little more, a little more. Perfect, we got it. First ring gone. Perfect. Dive through. Woo! Okay. Float our way back up. What? Where'd it go? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I... <laughs> wow. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, 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 die, 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 die. All right. Here we go. A little higher. There we go, there we go. A little more. Take it out. Perfect. Second one. Boom. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. I'm nailing it now. We're good. The music's not taking over me again. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, I love this. Like in any other Zelda game, this would be one of the best bosses. Ah. Uh. Okay. Avoid the tornadoes. Gust me out of there. Away the tornadoes. I'm trying not to, buddy. Tulin, you just look out for me, man. Watch out! Wow. Oh, okay, let's -a go. Come on, let's -a go. One, two. Oh, I think I my aim was off a little bit. That's okay. A little lower. Here we go. One, two. Come on, perfect. Perfect, get out of there. It's coming from below again. Okay, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Hold on, I gotta get a little closer. Come on. One more, come on. Good. Further up. There we go. There we go. Goodbye, Colt Gara. Woohoo! Let's go. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And down he goes. Ah, <sighs> brilliant. So now I'm assuming it's not going to be winter time in Rito Village anymore. Just like when we cleared the water temple out, there was no more sludge in Zora's domain. Ooh. Another tear now, look at that. 
Beautiful. All right, well, I'm excited to... I'm sure it's going to be Rivali who was the one who was talking to us. So I'm excited to see Rivali. If it's not Rivali, I will be very surprised. I'm sure it's going to be something like... Because I was wondering why Tulin kept being shown in the promo materials for this game and not Teba, when Teba was the new champion from Breath of the Wild. So, obviously, Tulin is going to end up being the Sage of Wind or something, similar to how Sidon was the Sage of Water. But... I'm just, I'm curious if it's going to be something like, oh, Rivali was the previous sage, and he knew that somehow. I don't know. Let's see. I'm excited to see the story revelations. Let's go. But it's going to be clear to me that Tulin is the sage of wind. No doubt. Or the, well, was there a sage of wind in Ocarina of Time? Obviously, there was a sage of water, because it was Princess, um, Princess Rudo, but... I guess we're going to find out. Tulin. My brave fledgling. Yeah, it's it's Rivali. No doubt. I know that voice. Of course, we all know that voice. It's you. You're the one who's been guiding us? Yes. I am your ancestor from a time long ago. Okay. I proudly served Hyrule's first king. I was a Rito warrior and a sage with control of the wind. So it's not Rivali then. Where you fight, the winds follow. I would expect nothing less from my disciples. I guess you know what that makes you sense though, because Rivali would have been way too young. He that couldn't have served the first king. The source of that intense blizzard. It was summoned by the demon king. Okay. He thought he could stop you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. My secret stone. His Ooh. voice is cool regardless. Secret stone? This is a lot to learn all of a sudden. I know. But listen while I tell you what happened in the past. Please. A tale of the imprisoning war. And the mission our people must accomplish. Alright, more lore. Years ago. When the kingdom of Hyrule was still young, a great evil, the Demon King, descended on the land. Yep. He sought to wipe out anyone who opposed him. But Raru, the first king of Hyrule, requested my aid, as well as that of five other warriors, to fight the Demon King. Rauru gave us secret stones. Powerful objects that enhanced our formidable abilities. This is very similar to the cutscene that we saw with um Sage of Wind. With Sidon as well. Yeah, the Sage of Wind, okay. Here we go. Yet we were still no match for the Demon King's overwhelming power. <laughs> that shot of Ganondorf last time was awesome. And I was unable to slip past his defenses no matter how hard I tried. In the end, King Rauru realized that we would not be able to defeat the Demon King. To save our world, King Rauru sacrificed himself and sealed the Demon King away. So that was the imprisoning war. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Some time later. Another of the six sages, the sage of the Zelda, Zelda, came to visit me, and her request would define the Rito's mission in the future. The Demon King will return. The magic binding him will be undone. When that time comes, a noble swordsman See, named Link will oppose him. I'm so curious what the canonical order of her visiting them is. Because she's going between Rito's time, and obviously we did the Water Temple first. But I know a lot of people that did the Wind Temple first. It was clear what part the Rito would play. And I'm just very curious. Like, at what point she went back in time and talked to them. Demon King. He set all this stuff up. When the Demon King returns... The Rito Sage of Wind will awaken once more. Mm. And you can count on the full support mm. of the Rito. <laughs> and 
Now you know about the imprisoning war, and a mission I accepted on our behalf. You've saved Rito Village, but there's more to do. The Demon King will soon recover his full strength. And we'll be waiting for him, don't you worry about a thing. Tulin. Great shot right there. Fledgling. You must take up my secret stone and honor the Sage of Time's request. Fight the Demon King with the Swordsman Blink. <laughs> I, I'm really genuinely intrigued where the story is going to be going now. Demon King with you? And what that fight's going to look like by the ending? Like when we end up trying to take down Ganondorf, if all four of us will actually be there, or if it's just going to be their powers with me. I hope they're physically there with me. If we don't do anything, then the world is going to be in big trouble. I can't let that happen. I'll do this. I'll happily take the secret stone. Now, is that Christina doing the voice of Tulin? I think it is. I can recognize her voice usually. And I know she was obviously just Nell in Advance Wars too. But Tulin is coming off like Killua to me. Which is why I think, there we go. Like the way he sounds, he reminds me so much of Killua. Killua the Saint to win. Let's go. Okay. So I get some of the gusts from anywhere now. That's going to be incredibly useful. Blink, hold out your hand. <laughs> I, Tulin, the Sage of Wind, swear to fight by your side until the end. You're still not my best friend, though. Sidon's my best friend. New Take friendship this. has it's been made with you, I'm with you, but you're not overriding my current bestie. I'm sorry, Tulin. But thank you for your power. Appreciate it. Give me another ring, please. I actually, I really do like the armor set we're wearing right now. The snow quill. Alright. Here we go. Boom! Two dungeons down. More than 60 shrines down. We are making progress in Tears of the Kingdom right now. Let me tell you. <laughs> you can use that ring to call on my power anytime, all right? Okay, let's head back to the village and tell Dad. Sounds good. He's going to be very proud of you. What a cool wind temple, though. Man, oh man, oh man. And the, the fight culminating with the Kalgara thing. I just loved going around the different levels of the boat and then like ascending to different parts of it. I loved the little gust of wind puzzle where you picked up the thing and attached it to the um, the little gear thing that was horizontal and then you had to open up the doors. Attaching the icicles to things to turn them into levers. It was fun. I really, really enjoyed that one. All right. The snow is finally stopping. We did it. We did it, Teba. Oh. The snow is melting. Rito Village is coming back to normal. Got that classic Tears of the Kingdom theme kicking in now, too. There is just something about Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Hyrule. It's wild because I'm usually someone who has a lot of nostalgia for and very much prefers older versions of kingdoms or areas. Like the versions of those areas in the games that I grew up with are usually the ones that are my favorite. But 
just this version of Hyrule is not only so much fun to explore, but I feel like I have so many memories with it now too because of how long the games were and their connections to the previous games and the things that they allude to. It's just, it's the best. You guys did it. Turns out it was easy once we started working together. Hmm. This was no small feat. And here we go, the swell of the music again. Bringing back the classic Dragon Roost theme. There we go. The mandolin version. I still can't believe the Stormwind arc from the children's song was real. Uh -huh. Yeah, me neither. You could have knocked me over with a feather. Uh oh, he's getting his bow. Hmm. For a job well done, Tulin. Huh. This bow meant so much to you, though, and now you're giving it to me? Hmm. It was always my intention to give it to you once you came of age to be a warrior. Dad. <laughs> Thank you. I'll prove to you that I've become a warrior worth carrying it. Hmm. One thing's still bothering me though, Link. You know that woman who called herself the Sage of Time? From the vision we got after I touched the stone? Not only did she look familiar, she even said your name. Huh. Do you really think that was Princess Zelda? And if it was, did she go way, way back to the time of my ancestors? I'm not the only one who'd seen her, though. I mean, there have been sightings of the other princess in their other regions, too. Excuse me, I added another other there, but you know what I meant. So many questions. There's no other princess. I added other beforehand. Excuse me. <laughs> I gotta know more about the figure we saw in the Stormwind Ark, so I'm gonna go look into it personally. Next time you see me, I'll have more info about Zelda, so check in with me sometime, okay? And remember, with my sage's power, the two of us can keep working together no matter what. Perfect. Proof of the vow of Tulin, Sage of the Wind. Use it to summon or dismiss the avatar of Tulin. Great! I got two of them now. And Tulin got Rivali's bow. Tulin of Rito Village complete. Beautiful! Now, before we end, though, I really want to do another shrine. Because there was that one shrine that we found. Yeah, that was over here that I really, really want to grab. And I also want to test out the Tulin thing when I'm flying from diving into the sky, uh, diving out of the sky, excuse me, because I feel like that gust pushing us in one direction and making us go a little faster is gonna let us get to the shrine way quicker than normal. I'm super excited to try this out. Man. All right, all the way up, here we go. Skip, jump on over, okay. Move in this direction. And now, Tulin is activated already, no? Okay, yeah. Vow of Tulin. Oh, is it not gonna let me do that? I thought he would just be flying alongside me, kind of like how Sidon would. Wait. Yeah, I can see this one can't be activated. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking I could float down from here, Tulin will be flying next to me, I click A and then shoo, straight across. But I guess that's not the case. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we do this though, how about we take out one of these guys? We might as well, we're right here. Before I hit that shrine. Here we go. Here we go, Flux Construct 1. Oh, now it's going to activate. All right, here we go. Tulin's vow has granted you the power to summon the avatar. Perfect. Boom! There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Get out of here. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> no more struggling. Ooh, wait a minute. old map nice I'll get that in the depths but we're in the middle of a fight right now so I gotta get out of here 
All right, get out of there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, Tulin, do your arrow thing. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. What do we get? A portable pot, a Zonai charge, and then I think I'm going to attach... Do I have a weapon I can attach this to? Or all these are? These are all already fused. So I can't really attach that flux thing to anything. That's okay. I know it's here. I'll come back and get it later. And now... This other one... Oh, wait a minute. I could just travel here and go straight down. Why didn't I do that before? Why did I jump? I thought I had to glide on over, but I guess not. I guess, yeah, I could just teleport to the shrine that was already in the sky and then jump down. Well, it still didn't matter because I beat the flux construct, no problem. So, all right. Here we go. Other way. We got another one? Is there anything over here? Oh no, this is just one of these areas. Boom. Let's see if I could kill it while I'm in the air still. Because it's literally right below us. I just don't know if that's a two or a one. I think it might be a two. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Oh, he's just still a one. Okay. Catch another one. Here we go, over here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Boom. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's not good. Boom, 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 boom. Nope, 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 not good. Here we go, hit this aside. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Eat this, get some mushrooms. we go. Boom! One more. Easy. Easy! I'm demolishing these guys. Alright, get some more of these Zonai things. Now, did one of my weapons break? Oh no, it didn't. It didn't. This one's close to breaking. And then we've got a little treasure chest over here. Let's see what's inside. Let's see. Another old map? Great! More goodies in the depths, you love to see it. Gives me reasons to explore down there. Okay. And now, the shrine that we're looking for should be right here. Yep, there it is. There it is. Woohoo! And boom. All right. Goflam's Secret Hot Spring. Interesting. The Utuom Shrine. Alright, let's see how long this one takes me. I think I got it, no problem. Roger, do you miss our boy Matthew and the gang from Future Redeemed right now? Absolutely not. I forgot about Future Redeemed the second I started playing Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> no, I did love it though. I did I did love it. And it did redeem a lot of things that I didn't like in Base Xenoblade 3. But, um, no, I have not thought about them since. <laughs> Alright, let's fuse some of this stuff. These are always fun. Beat them using only what we've got. Alright, let's see. Make our way over here. Oh, I don't like that alarm that that set off. Here we go. Couple more. Couple more. I'm gonna fuse the stick with the long, long stick. There we go. Get another one. All right, come over here. Where are the other constructs? Here we go. Come over here. Face the might of my long, long stick. Boom, there we go. Get one of these. Oh, hold on a minute. Wait a minute there, hold on. If I grab, oh no, hold on. Knock this out of his hands. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. Come on. I'm standing so far away right now. All right. Long stick broke. That's okay. 
We still got this. Whoa, whoa. Flurry rush, come on. Wait, what? Oh, because I didn't have it equipped. Come on, a little more, a little more. Knock it out of his hands. A little more, there we go, perfect. Now what I'm gonna do, fuse this with the wooden stick, put some spikes on there. That looks very deadly. Uh, pick up one of these. A shock emitter bat, okay. Now let's see. Something over there. Oh, here we go. There we go. Bam! Bam! Get out of here! Easy. Spike ball hammer, zonite charge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bam, 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 bam. All right. And that should be it for them. I'm good. Easy. And I got some shock fruits out of it. I actually, I love the look of the spikes on that stick. I feel like if I end up getting a really strong base weapon and I find those spikes again, that'd be a fun weapon to just swing around. All right, we are good. Let's get the heck out of here. Woohoo! Sapphire, great. Make our way over here. And actually, there is one more quest that I want to do that I did a little off stream. And then I was like, mm, I kind of want to stream it because I think it's going to take me to another shrine. And if we go to another shrine, we get one more blessing. I then get another heart container. So I kind of feel like we should do it. All right, let's skip. Make our way out of here. All right. Admittedly, I thought for the boss for the water temple, I thought it would be a giant moblin pirate captain, considering the theme of the temple. Oh, you mean the wind temple? Right, because it's a giant ship? No, I, I didn't necessarily expect that. Whoa, careful. Boom. Knock this guy out. Do I have any more fire fruits? I always like just evaporating them. I think it's super funny. I think I might be out, though. I got a ruby. I'm not going to waste it on him, though. This guy's going down anyway. Bam, 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 bam. Grab his weapon. Oh, his weapon fell. No, 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 no. Well, you know what? Fine. If he's down there, I might as well go down there, too. Hey there, buddy. Boom. Oh, we fell into the hot spring. Okay. Well, great. Anything over here? Hidden in a little cave or something? Let's just send up and see. Or this might just take us back to where we were. Let's see. Okay, here. This is where I want to go next. I have to mark it in my adventure log, though. Because I forgot where the entrance to it is. It's this one. The Bottled Cry for Help. And I think it's in Hiteno, if I remember correctly. Yep. Yep, right here. So let me explain how I figured out about this one. Basically, I was looking for a horse. I was looking for the Ganondorf horse. The really huge black horse with the orange mane that apparently shows up on Hateno Beach. So when I was playing off camera a couple days ago, I got the horse. But then when I found the horse, there was this little bottle that had a message that said, Follow my Bright Bloom Trail to wherever I ended up. And it was like a bottle asking for help. And so I want to go find the bottle again and save the guy that was asking for help. Let's see. I also see people asking me what temple I'm going to do next. I think the next one will probably be the Gerudo. I think I'm going to end with the Goron one. Because I don't really have any good flame armor right now. And I know in order to get it, it's relatively expensive. So I have to probably grind for some rupees or sell some stuff. So I think the Gerudo will be next. But I, I haven't fully decided that yet. We'll see. I know what I want to do before I do that, though. I definitely want to go to Luralin Village. Because I heard that that 
whole mission is very pirate themed and obviously as a guy that covers Nintendo and One Piece I feel like I gotta do that. So I think the next time we stream Breath of the Wild will probably be Luralin Village and then after that will probably be the Gerudo and then we'll do the Gorons. I recommend the Lost Woods. So I entered the Lost Woods but I didn't do the quest in the Lost Woods yet. I only got to the area where I cleared out um, the Deku Tree. I got rid of the gloom in the Deku Tree. That was it. So, all right, here we go. Come over here, and then put the fan on. Follow this, and we're going to that island, right? Oops, hold on. <laughs> I didn't realize. Wait, click this. Here we go. Yeah, I won't say what I found in the Lost Woods, because I don't want to spoil people who haven't been there yet. Uh, but rest assured, it was pretty cool, so. Alright, so see these little bright blooms over there? I have to follow these. Also, there's another Korok seed over there. Yeah, the bottle message said that the bright blooms will lead the way. And obviously there's an island over there. Okay, there's an island over here too. Oh, wait. That's not a Korok thing, never mind. Um, can I move this while I'm on it? Probably not. Or here, wait. No, I can't do it from the water. Dang. I wanted to shift the location of the fan so it could push me in a different direction. I guess I could do this. There we go. Because again, we're trying to follow those little bright blooms and that should take us to that island. Also, what is that over there? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, his log! Okay. Wait, no. Let's keep going. No, but it looks the bright blooms are the other direction now. So maybe that island isn't where I need to go. Oh. We got Octorok out. Interesting. We have a whole bunch of other boats over there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. No! Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Oh, the fan broke. No! That's not good. Here, let's just shock these guys. I got some shock fruits, I think. Here we go. Bam! That's actually not doing as much as I thought it would. You know what I'll do? I'll just do this. Because I probably have a fan by now. What's this? Fan, perfect. Got some more of these. Got a boat. Okay. Let's see. Another fan. We got a rocket as well. Hold on. Oh, this might actually be a good idea. Wait a minute. Let me attach this here. Oops, other way, other way, other way. Sorry. I know exactly what I'm going to do here. Move this over. Climb in the boat. And then... Once this gets moved over here... Oops. 
further up. I'm then going to move this boat. Whoops. Whoops, oops, oops. Get out of the water, Link. Get out of the water. There we go. I'm going to move this here. Attach this cork. Oh, no. I got to move it a little more up. A little more, a little more. Whoops. There we go. Stand over here. Wait for me. And then what I'm going to do... I'm going to move this. Whoop. This way. I'm going to move this onto here. Attach that. Get over to this island. Get this boat out of the way. Because obviously I'm going to need that to go to the other islands. Because our other boat broke. And then... I'm going to activate the rocket. And that'll give me a Korok seed, hopefully. Let's see. There we go! That did it! Yeah! <laughs> I just, I love this game. The puzzles are so much fun. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We got that. Let's make our way over. And then let's see what we got. Whoop. Come on, Link. Climb in the boat. There we go. And then the fan that was in the water no longer here. I'll beat this Octorok guy. A little higher up. Oh, I just missed him. That's okay. We're gonna go... Put this rocket on. Take this device out. Attach this. Whoops. Because we're trying to get to that island. Uh-oh. Here, I might just have to do a keys thing. Where's the eyeballs? There we go. There we go. Take that guy out. There we go. Don't activate the rocket. Uh, I'm going to jump back on this island actually real quick. Sorry, Mr. Korok. Okay. And I'll make it pretty much a straight shot. Go to the island right here. Rocket. Perfect. Attach. There we go. Woohoo! All right, we'll make it there in no time now. Use the extra little bit of wind power. Here we go. Down here. Whoops, a little more. There we go. Off we go. And I think this is one of those two islands. So the other one with the bright blooms is in the other direction. But I think this is the one that we need right now. And there's also a little hole into the depths. But I think there's a shrine on this island because I think the shrine here is how you teleport back over here without the need for the boat. We'll see. Ah. Uh. Roger, I just finished the game last night and today finished all the shrines. I'm a long way off from all the Koroks, though. Wow, you already beat the game? Holy mackerel. Well, congratulations. But I'm, I'm definitely taking my time with this one, so. Alright, we have another little Korok thingy over here. 
Now this is the island that takes away your equipment in the old game, isn't it? Will you battle the Hinox? Two and three. A little higher. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Lots of Koroks. Event Tide. Thank you. Yeah, Event Tide. All right. So now, before we do all of this, I kind of want to jump into the depths. Because I think they'll be a pretty good. Yeah, Event Tide Island Chasm. There we go. There we go. There should be a light bloom over here that'll tell me then where the shrine is. It is pitch black in here, though. Man, oh man. Um, do I have any bright blooms? Let's see. Got a couple. Okay. Lone Island Coliseum. Okay. I'm a little nervous, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, no, there's a light bloom. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. So here we go, make our way back up. Very nice. And that should take me up to... Yep, get these back. Nope, oh, I can't take this up? Uh-oh, I might be stuck down here for a second then. I don't know if I'm ready for a Coliseum. That implies boss fight coming up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I take this all the way up. Okay, so then there must be a shrine nearby if this takes me back up to the top of the island. And then I can teleport back here. Yeah, there we go. Now we're on the surface. Okay. And then now, if I go back down... Let's see. I'll set a pin right there. Oh, no, I should be able to see it from here, then. Okay. Because don't the light roots correspond with... Shrines? Okay. Maybe not the case right now. Soaring boomerang. Oh, neat. Okay. Take out some monster forces. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These seem like powerful guys. Wait a minute. Whoa! You got electric ones. There we go. Whoa! Not good, not good, not good. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, see, that's scary, because they have the lizard folks there that's shooting the water. And then, obviously, if you get shocked with the water, oh my gosh. Not good, not good. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Sort. By most use? Okay, well... I don't think any of this is going to give me a lot of health. I don't have much else. I got a couple little dazzle fruits. That's about it. Not good. Come on. Here we go. I guess I can do this. A little more, a little more, a little more. Nice, nice, nice. What is this? Electric Lizzle Spear. Cool. I want that. I want that Soaring Boomerang, too, because I feel like I could use that. I'm going to drop this one. I'm going to grab the spear instead. 
get the heck out of here. Actually, I want to grab these horns. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Get some shock fruits. We did it. Excellent. I am confused, though, because I really thought there would be a shrine here. Also, hold on. While I'm here... No, you know what? No, we're not going to do that. That's fine. Even though I got the monster forces, and even though I've been to the depths and I could go back there, this isn't entirely what I wanted to do right now. I wanted to go get that bottle. But I thought since we were here, it might give me a shrine, but I guess it didn't. So let's actually go the other direction. If I could take the fan with me, that might work. Hopefully the boat is still there for when we left it. It's on this side of the island? Okay. I do love Aventide, though. I love all the tropical stuff. I feel like maybe we'll do this island in entirely uh, in entirety when we do Luralin. Because we haven't done Luralin yet. I feel like once I explore Luralin, that might be a good time to come back here. But until then, I really just want to do that little side quest with the bottle. Here we go. And at least I beat the monster forces in the area, which is good. Got some more crabs. Whoops. Wait, get back here, little buddy. Get back here, get back here, get back here. There we go. Now, that's not the boat that I left, because the boat that I left has the fan on it. But then again, that might have disappeared. Hmm. More little crabs. See, I don't think I have another fan. Oh, there's somebody by the fire. I'm not going to talk to them. Well, un unless this is the guy. I want to go home. You must have a death wish to make it out of this island. You've heard the rumors, right? They say this is where the pirates that attack Luralin hide out. Oh! I'm not sure if I want to be here, but I'm on a mission to locate the pirate hideout for the monster control crew. From what I've seen, this island has three monster strongholds, so we'll definitely do this when we do Luralin then. We already cleared out one of them. There's two other ones. Okay. Hmm. I can't do a thorough search without the strongholds in the way. All right, fine. And I'm assuming then there'll be a giant boss at the end after you clear all three. All right, we will be back for you, Sesame. I got you. Seeking the pirate hideout. We are definitely doing that next time. But let me move this. Oh, it's not going to let me? Hmm. Here, let's go back to the beach really quick. Because I think this is the island we were on before. I think this is where the guy is stranded. Let me go back. This game is just so much fun. It really is. You get lost doing one side quest and then you want to do something else. It's the best. There's nothing quite like it. I love it. Okay. But I really do want to get that bottle. Alright. The Zanmik Shrine. Come on up. I guess I just realized if I jump from here and Tulin does the little gust thing, I might be able to get down there way easier. There we go! Well, I guess it's not as big of a gust as I thought it would be, but that's okay. Keep gliding. And then I accidentally ate all that food, too. I should have cooked something. Again, I feel like it's not gonna be that difficult to find out where that guy landed, though, because there was that one log with the two bright blooms on it that was in the other direction. I really do feel like it's out there somewhere. I'm gonna double check the bottle and see what it says again. Whoever finds the letter, you gotta help me out. 
I was out fishing, I caught in a storm, went to a nearby cave to take shelter. A big rock came down and trapped me in here. I managed to get bright bloom seeds through a gap into the water as a marker. The seeds will blossom and the tide will take the letter and the flowers to shore. Follow the trail of bright brooms back to the cave and get me out of here. Okay. Yeah, I do think it's over there. Okay. Here we go. One. Get some of these fruits. And then... Actually, wait a minute. Can I try this? If this is a boat oar, and I pick this up, and go into here, can I row? No. <laughs> no, I guess not. Okay. Uh, let me just attach a fan to it then. And just hope it doesn't break off. Here we go. And once I'm controlling it... Oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Alright, follow the bright blooms. Let's go. Now, I know they went that direction. I know there were the Octoroks over there. It should... Oh, man. I gotta watch out for those guys. I think it is over there. The problem is you can't really see the bright blooms while it's sunny out. But it's that, that little island over there, I think that's it. Because there's the log, and see it's traveling from that direction. There's two of them. There's another bright bloom. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. So I went off on the other path and I was doing the other island. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Now is it going to be here or do I keep going? Seems like there would be something there. More bright blooms. Oh, whoa, no, okay, it's even further out. Interesting. Okay. Wow, it curves all the way around. Whoops. Here we go. Make our way over. I gotta watch out for those sharks. Oh, hold on. We gotta wait for this thing to recharge now. And hope these guys don't attack us. Because there's two little sharks over in the water over there. There's clearly a bright bloom floating from this direction. See, I think the cave is gonna be around here somewhere. If he said it caved in, we should be back to normal. Let's go. We look around. Yeah, and I definitely haven't been over here yet. Oh, I think that's gonna be it. I think that's it. If that's another uh, bright bloom rock, and that looks like a cave. Oh, no, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Get rid of the Octa Rock. There's the bright bloom. Oh, yeah, here we go. This should do it. There's the other one. All right, we made it. Discovery. Mapla Point Cave. Okay. Now, part of this, obviously... Let me get some of these. Captain Reaper is damaged. All right, there's more of the bright blooms. Get some of these seeds. I got plenty of these now. This will be a good time to go back into the depths. All right. Uh, open this up. Rock salt, some flint. Some amber. Rock salt again. And then I'm assuming this is where he got trapped. 
get that out of there. Get some more bright blooms. Topaz. Amber. Diamond. This could be another one, though, too. He might have gotten trapped down here. Whoa. Oh, I'm glad I opened it up, though. There was a treasure chest down there. Purple rupee. You love to see it. Bright bloom seeds. Couple more. Couple more. A boat ore. So that's probably the boat that he came in on. And... Oh, there he is! I found him! You can wait a little while longer, though, while I get this stuff. Amber and sapphire? Oh, this is a good cave. Some solid stuff in here. Hello, buddy. Huh? Chuman? Who are you? You know what? I don't care. If you're here, I'm saved. And I've been stuck in here for ages. Did you find my message in a bottle and come to rescue me? I sure did. Oh. It really worked. I knew it was a long shot, but it was worth it. After what went down in Lurlin, I couldn't exactly refresh my stock of fish, so I wanted to try to catch my own. That's when a storm kicked up. I tried to shelter in the cave, but then I got shut in. Uh. Things were pretty bad for a while, but look at me now. The bottle really turned things around. If this lucky streak keeps up, then it's got to bode well for business. Oh. This is for you. I picked it up off the ground here in the cave. It sounded better in my head. It's a nice reward, honest. I was planning to take it home with me once I got out. I'll take a hundred rupees. That's great. Fantastic. Oh. I owe ya. A little reward's the least I can do. Now get the heck out of here, Chuman. Mm. If our paths ever cross again, you should buy fish off me. <laughs> and this isn't the time to play the peddler, huh? Thanks again and so long. <laughs> Alright, well perfect. We made it. Bottled cry for help complete. Alright, this is where I think I'm gonna end for the day. Next time, Laurelin Village. Oh.